Chapter 13 The Pig That Became a Man The Pig That Became a Man There was once a pig whose biggest desire was to become a human being. He would dream and say to himself, Oh how I will love to become a man. How I will love to wear clothing, to see the world the way they see it, to eat the food which they eat, to live inside a house instead of a barn, to drink tea and eat biscuits. To watch television and hear the radio, be productive with my hands, instead of eating mud with worms all day, and when I am fat enough to be in someone's plate. One day, a scientist heard the pig say I want to be human, and he said to him, I'm dealing with some chemicals that could change the DNA of an animal to a human, would you like to be the first to try? But remember once you are a human, you can never be a pig again. The pig happily answered without thinking twice, Oh yes, I want to be human, I'm tired of living in filth. So the pig was injected with a needle, and became in a moment's time, a man. The first thing the pig did was wear clothing, which he found kind of irritating, especially on a hot weather, and desired to be loose from it. Then he heard the radio and hearing sports, he found it to be so boring, he turned on the TV and thought to himself, what was the point of television? I can look outside the window and see things better which is real, and what is the point of watching something that's fake? Now it was time for him to drink tea, as soon as it went to his mouth it tasted like boiled water, not a tasty treat. Now it was his time to eat food, he skipped the salad and went straight for the pork, but remembering where he was once a pig, couldn't seem to chew his food. So he ate some salad for that day, but did not enjoy it one bit. As he went outside, he saw the mud with the worms and the maggots, Ooh. and he said to himself, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. Filling his hands with mud, maggots, and worms, he put it in his mouth, oh. and as it went to his mouth, vomited it out. <coughs> he tried again, but once again, it came out as vomit when he would put it to his lips. <coughs> Even the smell was not the same, but continue making him want to a puke. He was a human now with no chances of becoming a pig again. Now it was time for him to sleep on a bed he never felt anything so soft and bothersome. He tossed and turned all night until he decided to sleep on the floor. Oh, I want to be pig again, he cried, and yelling I want to be a pig again. And waking from his sleep, he found himself back in the barn with the other pigs, and it was a dream. And praising God, he was thankful that God made him a pig and not a man. So the moral of the story is be content in whatever state you are in, for he has his reasons, because if you can't find joy in your condition now, you will not find it in any other condition you will be in.